Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take an in-depth look at LaCrosse Technology V30 V2 Wi-Fi Professional Weather Station User Manual. Quick mounting tips. Wind speed. Ensure the sensor is mounted vertically and unobstructed rooftop is ideal. Your wind sensor should be the tallest object in the area to avoid reduced wind speed values. Rain. Mount in an open area, preferably off the ground on a level platform. Clean out the bucket regularly to avoid debris, this can affect readings. Thermohygro. Keep out of direct sunlight and ensure the sensor is well ventilated. We recommend mounting it on a north-facing wall under an eave or deck for best results. Button functions. Weather station icons. Extra sensor area icons. Connect to the LA Crossview app. Mobile device requirements. iOS requirements. Mobile device with iOS with cellular or Wi-Fi service. Android requirements. Mobile device with Android OS with cellular or Wi-Fi service. Get your station ready. Ensure your station's Wi-Fi indicator is flashing. If it is not, press and hold the plus, plus, and minus, dash, buttons down together until it begins flashing. This tells you that your station is ready to connect. Check your network. Connect your mobile device, phone or tablet, to your router's 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network for more Wi-Fi info visit. Download. Visit the App Store or Google Play Store to download the free LaCrosse View app onto your mobile device. Launch and follow open the LaCrosse View app and follow the on-screen instructions. Your station's device ID can be found on the back of the display. Within 15 minutes after your station connects to the LaCrosse View app, you should receive notifications to add your sensors. These will be displayed in your app's notification center. Benefits of connecting to LA Crossview. Advanced forecast and chance of precipitation.
AccuWeather daily forecasts. Press the daily button on the side of your station to scroll through 7 days of future forecasts. You'll see changing forecast icons and helo temperature readings. AccuWeather hourly forecast. Press the hourly button on the side of your station to scroll through 12 hours of future forecasts. You'll see hourly changes in weather icons. Chance of precipitation. Temperature. Wind direction. AccuWeather helo temperatures. Internet indicator will appear in the bottom right corner when connected. When connected, your daily AccuWeather helo temperature predictions will be displayed in this section. If unconnected, this section will display your outdoor temperature records registered daily by your thermohygro sensor. These will automatically reset at midnight every day. AccuWeather wind direction. Internet indicator appears and wind direction replaces top 1 HR. Custom data streams. Data stream items. Status messages when connected. Features of your weather station. Auto dimming backlight. Set auto dim, our only. Settings menu. Settings menu order. Extra sensor area. Add extra sensors to your station. Delete extra sensors from your station. Press and release the extra sensor button until you see the sensor and ID you wish to delete. Hold the minus button for 3 seconds to delete this sensor. The sensor readings and ID will show dashes. The sensor will no longer show in the extra sensor area. Wind speed readings and history. Current speed, highest wind speed in the past 31 seconds. Samples every 3 seconds. Top speed, 1 HR, highest wind speed in the past 60 minute period. Wind direction. When connected wind direction in letters will replace top 1 HR. Top 1 HR will still be viewable in history internet indicator will show next to the word direction. Rainfall readings in history. Now. Shows rain readings from the start of a rain event until no rain has accumulated for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes of no rainfall, this number will reset to zero. One hour. Rainfall in the past 60 minutes, last 12 5 minute samples. Example. Current time is 6.49, 1 hour is the accumulated rain between 5.50 to 6.49. 24 hours. Rainfall for the past 24 hours updates at each full hour this is a running total. 7 days. Rainfall from the last 7 consecutive 24 hour rainfall readings. Updates each day at midnight not subject to your calendar, but be sure you have your time set correctly. Month. Current month, first day to current day the current month may will show. Press and release the plus button to view previous months. One year. Current month plus the past 11 months total the current year will show. Total. Total rainfall since the station was powered on or reset. Temperature humidity readings and helo records. Viewing order. Feels like temperature. Temperature trimmed arrows. Relative pressure reading. Sensor ID and sensor search. Search for individual sensors. Press and release the sensor button to view the sensor type and ID. Hold the plus, plus, button to search for the sensor. The reception indicator will flash for up to 3 minutes. Allow up to 3 minutes to view the sensor and ID on the station. Delete sensors. Press and release the sensor button to view the sensor type and ID. Hold the minus button to delete the sensor from the station. 
The deleted sensor can no longer show on the station battery should be removed. The station will automatically search for a replacement sensor of the same type. Example, delete a wind sensor, the station will search for a new wind sensor. If replacing a sensor, insert batteries into the new sensor. Once the station receives the sensor, press the sensor button to confirm the sensor ID. Low battery indicators. Low battery by outdoor temperature, replace batteries in the TH sensor. Low battery by wind, replace batteries in the wind sensor. Low battery by rain, replace batteries in the rain sensor. Low battery by indoor temperature, replace batteries in the station. Low battery by extra sensor, replace batteries in extra sensor. Factory restart station. Hold the rain and light buttons together for 5 seconds. Your station will reset and search for all sensors. Allow up to 3 minutes to reacquire all sensors. You will need to reconnect to your LaCrosse View app by selecting Connect Wi-Fi from the menu in your LaCrosse View app and entering your Wi-Fi password. Care and Maintenance. Do not mix old and new batteries. Do not mix alkaline, standard, lithium, or rechargeable batteries. Always purchase the correct size and grade of battery most suitable for intended use. Replace all batteries of a set at the same time. Clean the battery contacts and the device before battery installation. Ensure the batteries are installed with the correct polarity plus and. Remove batteries from equipment when it is not used for an extended period. Warnings. Severe weather alerts. The station can alert users to severe weather conditions like thunderstorms, tornadoes, hurricanes, and winter storms. Temperature extremes. Warnings can be issued for both extremely high and low temperatures, which can be important for protecting plants, livestock, and people. Wind warnings. Strong wind gusts can pose a danger to structures, trees, and power lines. Precipitation warnings. Heavy rain, snow, or hail can lead to flooding, property damage, and hazardous driving conditions. Air quality alerts. Poor air quality due to pollution, wildfires, or other factors can affect health. UV index alerts. Excessive exposure to UV radiation can cause sunburn and skin damage. Frost warnings. Frost can damage plants and crops. The station can alert users to potential frost conditions. Troubleshootings. Check power supply. Ensure that the station is connected to a reliable power source. Verify wireless connection. Make sure the station is connected to a stable Wi-Fi network and that the connection is strong. Reset the station. If the station is unresponsive or experiencing issues, try resetting it by following the manufacturer's instructions. Update firmware. Check for any available firmware updates for the station and install them if necessary. Check sensor placement. Ensure that the sensors are placed in appropriate locations according to the manufacturer's guidelines. Calibrate sensors. If the readings from the sensors seem inaccurate, try calibrating them following the manufacturer's instructions. Contact customer support. If you have exhausted all other troubleshooting options, contact La Crosse Technologies customer support for further assistance. For more updates, subscribe to our channel.